so I'd be mindful of our time too. Um, talk with y'all. I did want to get a couple of y'all, a couple of y'all questions off the board. Y'all got a lot of questions, don't it? A lot of y'all answers. Y'all are wait. I get with y'all. I got enough. Tell y'all. I got what two? How many y'all got? One. Oh, we already answered all y'all. Then did I give y'all one at the server? I did. Yes, I did. What was it? So did I ask y'all who what was the name of Shamshu and why? And someone brought me and showed me the answer. It was pathetic. Oh yes, it was. I don't know who y'all were thinking about. Some folk had their own name. They heard what they wanted to hear. But I was like, I don't know where you got that from. You definitely gonna be off on that one. But your heart was in the right place in the center of your chest. Um I was gonna try to address a couple of y'all questions, get them out of the way for we come down um uh, into later. Are those points from before, right? No, sir. Be current. Yes, sir. Somebody, I got five points. No, nah, they, they ain't asking them other questions. No, nah, them still gone. No, nah, them no. No, nah, they got a bunch. How many questions they had left on the table? How many? You say you remember one. No, no, we never answered any of y'all questions. Y'all stacked up. So I'm going to have to touch on somewhere right quick. So give me a couple of those up. Somebody had to read for day. He hit me. He told me he was running. I think somebody ran out of fuel or something. So he had to take care of that. But I do understand. I seen him. I appreciate it, too. I seen him. I was looking at that. Yeah, I had to have I appreciate that. Okay. You said somebody from another team? Who's the same team? Where nine and a half at? Lancaster. Lancaster done got old now, he can't. All right, we're good. Let's say this is our Roman 15 and four. All right, listen. For whatever Nika taught before, Nikatab uh -huh. for our alumni. We talked about whatever was written before was written to teach us, then, show us, instruct us. Then uh -huh. we through endurance. Going through. And the. Uh, just not quitting. That's all it is. Don't quit. And through. Nakum or the Kitchen A bride. Might have Tikva. That's right. But you're going to get it from the writing, right? <clears throat> that's, that's what we're looking at, trying to make sure we are mindful of the writings because that's. Uh, that's crucial for us, and that's what we want to make sure we uh, we look at. I know a lot of times, you know, we uh, we we. I'm gonna make sure you understand. So we 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 account what we do to the ish to whom Yahushua made the Berith, which is the covenant, and he made that with Abraham, and to Abraham he left it to his seed, which was his descendants. And when we Palau, we always want to recognize Abraham and Yasakaka. I recognize them as the Abath which are the fathers, because we look at who he dealt with, who he had a relationship with, who he recognized, and who he made his oath, his berith with, who he shabbat, who he vowed that he would um, deliver their descendants, and he would be with his descendants, he would recover their, their descendants. And the only way that we actually become those connecting factors is because of what we believe. It was never to Abraham seed through the Torah. It was through the Sadiq of Amunah. Y'all got that stability. Um, Boss, can you put up, uh, who am back there, y'all can put up uh, Amunah. Um, and some luck and I did back some time before. Amunah is uh, believed, and of course when everybody read the belief among the, uh, the what they would call faith, it's our Amunah, and it's important for us to do. We can look at it from more. We'll look at how they write it from Strong's, and then we'll look at it from Lexicon. Because everybody's going to pretty much write from their standpoint. That's, that's what I believe. And for us, we're given these, you know, given these, the, um, the literature, the writings. And we're pretty much in a situation where we're basically uh, kind of in perplex because we have to try to figure out what, what was deemed from him. And then you got to try to figure what other people attitudes were. That's 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 pretty much where you had the hands up. We've been at the mercy of these people a long time, and now things are winding up. 
but it's my confidence that he's going to do what he said he's going to do. He's going to restore something back to us. And you can't restore something we had. It's got to be something we didn't have. This pure language is not going to come through by lexicon and Greek and by strong. But I believe it moves us more into a direction to kind of understand things differently. Everything they did, even when he talked to them concerning, you know, the arm when he given some, he wanted to make it plain. Make it where people could understand. And we saw what happened when people didn't understand it. What happened? They got destroyed. They died. What happened? They left off. They stopped doing the work. They couldn't understand that. When the people got them, they couldn't understand it. They just left the work. They left. That's what people are doing now. That's why it's important when y'all sit here to make sure you do as the, the writers have prescribed, the guitar has prescribed, you get a more earnest heed to the things which you heard less at any time. And people do it all the time. You'd be surprised how much people let slip. You were told. You were taught. That you've been instructed concerning. And if you don't be mindful to constantly reiterate it in your minds and in your behaviors, you'll slip. A lot of time, you know, Yahuwah, um, well, that's right, he'll come back and say drift to get off or same thing, you'll slip. Um, and, and that's the thing we're trying to make sure we're not doing. But he did give us something to kind of hold us steadfast. Because uh, he talked about us drifting, I'm going to want that answer too. Um, and that's the thing that we want to make sure that we are doing, that we're not just going through. Because you can run this race a long time and get the one hurdle and realize everything you've been doing been wiped out. Get too comfortable, get too lax, get too just not thinking. I'm telling you, he'll show you this is where you're at. Now, everything you work for has been in vain. That's something you don't want to do. And, it, and it's, it's a two thing when Yahuwah challenges us and make us look at ourselves and make us consider, because it, it should be a self-examination. We all should be doing it because it's too easy to, before you know it, you know, you don't want to find out you're not where you're at when you fall. You want to know where you're at before so you can make the necessary preparation. Even Yahushua was tired. He said, and knowing this, that if the two each other house had known which watch, that he would have watched. He wouldn't have suffered. And all of us are saying, you don't know what watch you're coming. So it's, it's to our benefit to make sure then that you got to stay away at all times. That, that, I, it is, I know y'all heard it. You hear it. But you're you going to fool around and you're going you gonna to mess up. A lot of y'all going to screw up. And where we at right now, you're going to screw up on the end, you're going to be out the door. It's too late now. We, we, we're the latter part of this whole thing. We can't keep making the same mistake. And I think you guys have gotten to a point where y'all thinking it's okay and it don't matter. You get forgiveness. It don't work like that. Let's see something right quick. Abari, chapter 6 of verse 1. Yo, huh? Before we do that, hold on. Y'all y'all can turn to it. Let me see. Do we have it? We, we'll look at it from both ends. Because I think it's important to look at more than one definition of it so we can kind of get a consortium of what we're looking at, like firmness, fidelity, steadfastness, steadiness. Which steadiness will make sense to build it because of what? Why? Our king. What about Abraham? That's right. He didn't become uncertain. He had stability. And what happened with us, we won't have stability. We'll have instability. You know, our writers of Abraham is the only one he was grown out when he was a child. So we found out he had stability and he was steadfast, um, unmovable. We found out that when he was an Ish. You know, the book told you to do something too. Put away childish things. No, it did tell you that. He told you though, but that you henceforth be no more children. Talk. See that? You don't have firmness. You don't have stability. And that's something you guys have to make sure you do. You don't you don't want to spread. Y'all, 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 you know, y'all still kid. I know y'all teenagers. Y'all still, you know, kid. Y'all got a lot you're gonna grow into, you're gonna learn. Your time gonna come. But it's good to start working on having some firmness and being sound. Y'all got even when you write a will, you got the first thing you gotta tell them people who you are, and then you gotta tell them how your mind is. Did y'all know that? You can't start no wheel off just talking about who you is and what you're going to give away. That junk won't stand. First of all, you got to make sure your mind's solid. You know what I'm saying? You have some kind of incapacitation, some kind of brain disorder. You're just writing off something. First thing, we got to make sure that you're sound. He even talked about the um, speak out the thing which become, which is something firm, something hard. That's what it means. When you say I being, how many of y'all didn't know what I being a sound mind means? Good. Everybody knew. That's what it means. It means something firm. 
See, what's important, because they kind of, they show you what they've taken from us. When you start looking, then they have firmness, stability. What did I see? Did I see firmness? Oh, down here. Firmness, and that's what you'll find when they talk about being a sound mind. Y'all got it. You got to be something firm. You got to make sure this is what you want to do. You know what I mean? Times, oh, oh, I changed. Go to the store and get me some can. Oh, no, give me a drink. Hold on. No, no, just give me some chill. You said, you know what? You probably go yourself because you got too much going on. You're too unstable. A lot of, a lot of, not a lot of y'all, but you got unstable people. And that's why it's important to make sure you get stability. And you get stability, you got to sit down, you got to consider things. A lot of things got to become more mature in your decision making. Mature don't come in age. Please don't, don't think that being mature is going to make you come in, you know, when you get a certain age. You can be an old fool, young fool, you know what I'm saying, a baby fool, you know what I'm saying, a stupid fool. So age don't actually get it. Don't, don't count the age. It's, it's the experience and what you learn from the experience and, where, and how you grow from it, you know what I'm saying, and the decisions you make after. You're going to make bad decisions from time to time. As men, as kids, it's all about how you deal with the situation. You make a bad decision, what you do, do you crash? You fall out, you just break down crime? You sat down and examine where you went wrong, what you could have done differently. Can you change the situation? Yes or no. If it can't, then I got to learn to move from it and pass it. And I got to learn to make sure I don't ever allow myself to get back in the situation. Some people go around, they just gonna be, you'll see them 40, 50, they beat down, disgusted, can't, they just can't get together. You're a man, you learn to deal with it. I'm just, man, this life. <laughs> Listen, as men, it's just stuff y'all got to learn how to deal with. It's stuff I look at when I get, I got to look at, can I change it? If I cannot change it, then I got to look at what are my other options besides killing somebody. Because you can't kill everybody because that one good kill is going to be the one going to put you away. And guess what you're going to learn? You're still going to run the other problem that you're going to wind up having to sit down and make decisions about. Every decision can't be a fight situation. Every decision can't be a kill situation. Some decisions you have to learn from, you have to take it. But it makes you over time. Then you want to take the experience you have and you want to pass it down to people with lesser experience who make them better. That's how we got to where we are now. Because people came through, when we read the, um, the Sefer with these are, you know, we talked about transgender. They taken our book, transgendered it. They changed it, mixed it up to keep us and to make sure we couldn't find out where we need to get back to. First of all, they didn't want us to know we were lost. The whole story about where they got her from and where they sent us from makes absolutely no sense. Just don't make any sense. It just makes sense to just tell you Africa. That leaves it open. They didn't tell you they shelled everybody out. They sailed everybody out from Ghana, which all that makes no sense. You got South Africa, you got East Africa, you got, so you move all the niggas to Ghana. You know how bad the roads are over there? And they definitely wasn't no better when they were him. Now, this is with modern day construction, the roads are terrible. So you explain to me how you walked all these niggas down to Ghana and walked them through three rocks and put everybody on the boat. Because that's what they want us to think. Because we never had a reason to examine it. If we saw that a book is hardback, it's got a cover, it's got an author, it's got print date, why would it be wrong? And then they got it in stores. So don't buy into the hype of because it's got a titling and it's been authored or published by some famous company. These companies that publish books are major publishers of lies. The same, listen, you'd be surprised how many of y'all don't. Um, use generic products. Don't like generic products. Can I see any of them? Okay. Two people. Only two people. How many of y'all use generic products? <sighs> Depending on what. A lot of generic products are made in the same place where you get the regular stuff. Uh, I mean, so it's just all about people play games with you. You know what I'm saying? So you, I don't know about it. This is the make generic stuff too. Like some people say, I don't get banks or uh, get loans from these little loan companies because I go to banks, banks, but the same people that beat you over here are the same people that fool you over here. So when you understand that, you start to question things as you get them. You know, over time, you start to look at things, you have to ask yourself, why do you believe what you believe? It's basically because that's, that's what you were told. You've been told a lot of things. We all have. And now we're at a point of we have to question things. 
you know, before you question the thing, oh, they question, they don't want to be saved. They just want to ask questions. No one ask questions. We just want to know what we're doing. And it's only because of where we got it from. I look at my handlers. You know what I'm saying? You got to look at your handlers. You take an animal and, and you snatch it and beat it and chain the shoe and you put it in, you throw food in there to it. They got to look at that food first. Because I'm looking at how I got here and who been handling me. And the same person that captured me and handled me and drug me, the same person just gave, gave me food. And they'll continue to do it. Then they'll train you to eat a different way and train you to eat from their hands. Now when you start, now when they start to um, cause you to regenerate, you know what I'm saying, to procreate, when you raise up the next, the next um, uh, pride or uh, uh, litter or whatever it is, they won't even know nothing about freedom. That's all they, guess what? They'll, listen, they'll run to the captive hand and jump in their arm. They'll hug them and roll on the ground with them. And they'll leave them in the cage and come back in the morning, waiting to see them and play with them. And the whole time they'll realize, this is the person that started your demise. And now when you start to have cubs and litter, then those cubs will grow up. And none of them will ever know about freedom. Because eventually they'll wipe out the extinction of the, they'll extinct the first one. So now you just got a whole tool adopt generation of people that hadn't even known, animals hadn't even known freedom. That if they got away, they would die. I said because they lost things like homing, how to survive, how to track, you know what I'm saying, how to stalk. You lost all of that. Listen, man, if you watch this Ukrainian stuff that's going on, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of Ukrainians. I'm sick of hearing about them, okay? They made me sick of them. I'm sick of Russians. I'm sick of them. I'll fight any one of them, even the white boy from, Rock, from Rocky. Y'all got to let me sing your whole card. It, 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 I'm sick of it. I, how bad these folks done made themselves look, though? How great superior they made themselves look, though? These sorry bastards have been on a 40-mile convoy in vehicles. You know they had made it because they'd been breaking down. They almost about to be there about another day. You've been on a 40-mile pilgrimage in a vehicle, and you ain't made it yet? How many times he fought a cyber attack? Russia's great with cyber. These are the same dumb people they always been. They all dumb. The Ukrainian too. You think I'm going to let you light a gas bottle and throw it and I got a gun? You better come out of the house with it lit. Don't you know how to move when somebody throwing something at you? I mean, the whole thing is so stupid. Did you know your sunroof was open? All right, well, you know it now. I know everything. So anyway, I need people to start thinking, especially our people, because we've been played. I need y'all to look at this news story. I watch a lot. I watch these people look at all these people are stupid. They're all stupid. United Nations, stupid. United States, stupid. You see the caveman barbarian, it wouldn't have took but a couple of planes to go over the top and lay that whole 40-mile convoy out. End it. The man ain't going to pull no nuclear weapon. Let me tell you what ain't going to happen. Ain't no white boy with no $170 billion for to blow up no planet. That broke nigga stuff. Where you going to spend that 100 You work how hard to get $170 billion? How many folk you kill and rob and lie to get $170 billion? And I'm going to push a button and kill everybody, including me. White boys, ain't, they ain't going to do that. They just look good on news. When you don't know no better, you believe these kind of lies. I don't believe nothing they say. It's up to me. I'd have been shot all that stuff up, been done with it. United States sit back, because they show you too, they scared. Then they hypocrites. They don't went to Iran, the big Iran for, oh, what we heard about Iran since the 60s, for the, the 70s. Sponsors of terrorism going to blow Israel up. We need to, you, you think we can get some more. What were we told about Venezuela? Chavez sat here and told them that they were the great Satan. They refused all from him. When no, when no, when no all reds got hit in tech, most of y'all don't pay attention. No all reds got hit years ago. Chavez offered to give all to America. They got back on their feet. They said, we don't take all from him. On the country, she said, we can't take no all from you. She said, that's against our policy. You stood up in the United Nations and called her the great Satan, which he didn't lie. He should have saved ton. Now they begging him for all. Just went over here, 
told his man government uh, and divided his country. They got two leaders. You remember know, they had a big mess? He had to ship all his gold out to Russia. Now they're over there kissing his behind, asking him for oil. Told you can't, told I read, they're gonna let him, we're gonna let you go ahead and finish your nuclear weapon, your nuclear, oh, if a nuclear energy. These guys are caveman. What they need with nuclear energy? Anything you can't get with a butane lighter and a counter, you ain't getting. That's all I can get him. The man that told you he's gonna blow Israel off the map as soon as he get one. They know this. This is what happened. All these four have played a lot this one. Trump told you he was the dumbest one in the class. Dumbest man in the class. And Trump ain't no smarter. Nope. Put both of them white boys together. Man, you can probably come over by 2% grade point average. What the, how they rank that brain? What that brain they ranking at? IQ, that's what they call it. I don't play. I look at GQ. I look at how a nigga dress. I look at how he dress. I tell ain't that to him. You tell I look at GQ. I can, you know how many folks got a high IQ mentally retarded? I don't pay these folks no attention. What these people call intellectual? These folks have all kind of sexual, crazy, hunching the wall, having sex with male bosses. I say you very ignorant. I already look at how you dress. I don't pay these people no attention. Don't put, let, let me tell you what I'm calling. I'm calling on the so-called Negro to boycott the whole system. Let's walk off from these people. If they want to fight, let's give them one. Y'all done let a white button come in here with 40 mile tape breaking down. Some old crippled up old looking white folk let them in bit 60 something year old white folk shaking and trembling. Like, what did Uncle tell you? Yeah, I'm gonna stand and fight. You kick them joker one time, they pay maker gonna cut off. They had piss poor. Listen, these folk running up, y'all saw they was going up on tanks, walking up on them. All this stuff. I said, man, these white boy done played us a long time. When the clubs go, brother, wanna fight? They don't even make no sense. They bring them guys in in the worst era and let them fight. Yep. They set, stack stuff up for, and wouldn't let them two white boys fight each other. So that's sure how they do now. They'll knock you out. Play you out, beat you out. They said both of y'all got to fight for that. Yeah, ain't going to fight my brother. Why we can't do like that? Right. Chicago, New York, Los Angeles, L.A., Atlanta. Why right. we can't do that? Huh? Philadelphia. That's right. New Jersey. Why we can't do that? No, nah, I ain't gonna fight my brother. Fight my brother. That's right. Why we can't do that? That's right. First thing we do won't fight these white folk, we'll kill each other. That piss. I'm pissed with the whole thing. At that point, we don't need no Europe. Do whatever y'all gonna do over there. Right. That don't make no sense. Europe is behind the destruction of us. Y'all see these folk hanging signs? I'm, I'm just disgusted with the whole thing. I'll knock the piss out of one of them at that point. I ain't lying. I ain't laughing about it. I'm pissed. For the fact that these folks standing here with signs and food when these people got the bus. Right, right. They said they getting 50,000 these people per day. Do y'all know how many black people have went here and they let drown in the water? Right, yeah. That all these Europe countries said they couldn't take? Yeah. That it was stressing their system? Yeah. They watched them drown. They probably turned the boats over. Yeah. And what happened to COVID? Yeah. These folk done took in over two million people that don't look like us. They done gave them housing. They done gave them, I'm talking about as soon as you got the bus, hot food, welcome, welcome. They giving teddy bears to your kid. These folk were pushed back in the water, forced back. Listen, the raft destroyed. They turn them right around the water, go back. If your raft half destroyed coming, how much you gonna keep going back? Why were they coming out for a vacation? They were escaping war in their countries. To hell with all of you. Straight to Sheol. You let us, you let human beings, my whole thing, be fair with everybody. If you let us drown, let them drown. That's their problem. But don't throw him down. Fox News, they gave up a million dollar support. America gave 350 million, they gave them tanks, they gave him armory, they gave him ammunition, food, they gave him $10 billion. Went back and said, no, 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 make it for 12. That's, that's, that's an insult. Now they just took it to 13 today. The Senate came back and they told him 13 billion. Billion. Do y'all know it ain't enough for them to get every nigga a million dollars? And these bastards will not sit down and pay a reparation, right. but you give them some Ukraine who ain't number Russians. Right. No people Russians. They Russian and they belong to Russia. 
Everybody just tell the truth. They are Russian. They say, okay, they Russian. They broke off. They got their independence. Then let us have ours. Why we can't be Americans and break off? You saw they changed their name when they broke off. Same thing we want to do. You ain't going to be fair and be treating all right. I don't know why we stand. That's right. I tweet, put it in. All right, I'm so sick of black folks. I'm just sick of them. I'm disgusted. When he crack around, y'all, I'll beat you. I'm going to beat you too. <laughs> now, I just want to know what you, who you believe in. I'm a Democrat. I'm going to stump the piss out you. That's right. The Klan going to have to pull me off you. Come on, Smith. We can't do them like that. I'm like, why not? Why not? Why not, Grand Wilson? Grand Will's gonna be begging me to tell I let that nigga go. They said, we kill niggas, but you're going too far. Said, Once the nigga said the wrong thing, you know what I'm gonna do, Jenna? I'm gonna take my eyes out so I don't even know I'm black. I'm gonna be too important to the movement. They're gonna be asking why they don't kill me. They'll say, no, Brother Smith, too important to the movement. You know? Protest! I had to They gonna know. I mean, I'm serious too. I'm gonna be real with it. I find out my wife getting away and she trying to stop it. I'm going to divorce her for being a nickel lover. <laughs> so don't get in the way now. And I start stumping these niggas out because they want to stay Democrat and keep trying to vote for them. Try to hurt them niggas. So don't you get in the way, protest! I'm going to write some books too. I'm going to write me a bunch of books too. Nigga, nigga, nigga. My first four books. Isn't that right? This whole all page, a thousand page book. Nigga, one word on the whole page. I'm sick of niggas. Niggas make me sick. Oh, sick nigga. Just sick of how we been done. We done made a mess out of ourselves. We done sat here and got so domesticated and weak and scared. I want these folks sitting here ready to fight and defend their country, which is Russia. They sit here willing to die and put their life, and a nigga ain't caring about nothing. You talking about bombing citizens, they talking about hitting an apartment complex. I tweet, I talk, I said, Breonna Taylor was an apartment complex. She was hit with military fire. Why ain't nobody charged with no war crime? Man killed her, told him, said he don't feel sorry for nothing he did. Not guilty. I, but you know what? We still him. We still love him. We still scared him. We still let him snatch us. They can't take a little, we let them. It's just like Yehuda said, they can't have no thought over unless we give it to them. Right. We give these people the thought to treat other way. Ain't no white folk fault. It's our fault. That's right. We give, we give white, if white folk know we are standing, we ain't taking no junk off of them. We'll die for what we believe in. They wouldn't do it. Yep. That's right. They don't want to die. Why you think America said, they, listen, they too scared to take plane. Poland going to give. Poland ain't by that big. Yeah. Right. Poland said, we're going to give some plane to, to the American effort. They said, oh, don't send them over here. That's a hack of war. <laughs> They don't be scared to join in with nobody against us. Soon as somebody whoop us up, they go straight on TV and say, well, you out here committing crime, the police doing their job. Why, you don't, why we don't consider that an act of war? That's right. You said they had to wash their mouth when they speak. Yep. Make them wash their mouth when they talk about us. That's right. Look at that. They scared to get it. You know, I went straight out and told them flat. They said, don't. They said no. They said, well, mm -mm. They said, don't bring them planes over there. They said, we don't want nothing to do with them planes. They said, that's that man tell that's an act of war. Why we don't take this as an act of war? That you took a man in your court, he your man, and you let your man go. That's an act of war. How you gonna win a fight like that? The Negro should have been had his own court. That's sick. I'm disgusted. I'm just disgusted with the whole thing. I'm so disgusted. Come, you who will come. He can't get him quick enough. I'm so disgusted and sick of black. I'm sick. Call me something else. I don't want to be named with y'all niggas. I'm talking about not just anywhere. Just embarrassing how scary we are. Always scared of what they going to do. They can't do nothing to us. Nothing but what we let them. Look at them. All them white folk get to leave. They grab one nigga woman over there from the WNBA and hold her for a vape pen. They should have got her for eating coochie. Yes, that's a crime. Bro, smell like 40 pounds of mullet. That's what he should have got her for. Well, I'm trying to find why all the cats over there in Russia licking her in the mouth. You ain't even figured out why?
She ain't nothing but a nasty bastard. I'm sick of it. Let me stay with my word. I, I had a moment. <laughs> Give me a minute, Robin. <laughs> I had a moment. I'm so pissed with these folks. All right, translating the strong here, Father in the Mountain. So they put faith in all these words are just showing you words that they render to say covering Amunah. Do I believe everything they say? No. Amunah short it. Uh, I guess short it. Amunah feminine. Now there's literally firmness, figuratively security, morality, fidelity, faith, faithfulness, man. A faithful man, faithful, faithful, no, I don't do that. Set in office, stability, okay. What's the other one say? What is this? Oh, this Brown, Briggs, Christians. That's, you know how scary that is that a Christian tell us what the definition is to our stuff? That's, that's just show, no, we'll go to, um, go to, um, back over to the other one y'all use, y'all are strong. I read on, I, don't, I mean, all of them the same people. I don't just, I don't know. I don't want to limit us so much. You know what I'm saying? Are y'all open for keep for broadening your horizon? Because at the end of the day, we're trying to get truth. To say one need people better than the other ones to tell a lie. Okay, firmness, security, fidelity. He put stability. Wait, there's stability, sturdy, steady. So he set this right here. So we know that Abraham was steady, stability. And, that's, and that, that goes in combination with what you believe. Y'all got what I'm saying? See, th th this, this is how they work us, and this is how we get beat out. Um, when it comes down to Amon, which is our belief, you have to have Amonah because that's your stability and the building up to what you get, okay? So every time when you're being taught, limited, okay, you're taking what you're getting and you're attaching it to what it is you believe. You got it? So we are fixing it. When, right, I tell you what he told him. With, uh, um, with Nuop in the sixth chapter of the, Bavar, in the book of Bavar, you don't have to get it. Sixth chapter of the book of Bavar, Bavar I'm sorry, uh, Barashit, that they'll call Genesis. You'll find, I thought, probably about 14 or 15, maybe down. He told him to. Um, to pitch within and without, okay? And that firm, what they used for pitch was mean to erect it firm. To erect firm. What would they have used for that? The yard. The yard is also symbolized as the male penis. When it's erect, it's what? It's firm. So then they had something they can compare just like a stone, okay? Sometimes people have, they say, man, that thing hard like a rock. It's firm, steady. People looked at a rock being something. You got a problem, Justin? I just asked. All right, so anyway. <laughs> so this is what we're looking at is, so what we're trying to do is to get stability in our belief, okay? Um, I know I caught, what did I call? Sixth chapter of the book of, Aubrey, I'll, I'll try to come back, but let's look at some. Look at, um, let's look at the twenty-fourth chapter, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-four, Oriah. We we'll just look at it for a second, okay? Based off of, because I want to make sure we get this Oriah. They call Luke, which is y'all shining, or y'all light, or what shine? Okay, twenty-four. Make it 24-19. Matter of fact, do this. Um, drop him. Just get the blue letter Bible. He, he's not all that accurate itself. He's really not. He, he all over the place. One word he'll write him when you go back and check it. It's actually different when you go into strong. So I don't, I mean, he don't really show a whole lot more sturdiness, I don't think, more than a lot of other ones really do. But, you know, we take him and we look at him. Let's see how I read over him. How much difference they read. 2419, call it a two. I'm sure it's a two. Two of you to keep a nigga trapped. Hmm. I thought you had the other one. What's the one that show you the uh, Aubrey words on the bottom of it? I thought Blue Letter Bible show it to you. <clears throat> that's great. I know that's great. Oh, so we can read it from here. Ooh. 
Okay, at least say it unto them so it goes down this way. So, okay. okay. Which would be K A Y. Correct? That he's using. He's using K. So, y'all see how you got to watch these people just looking. Briefly, you catch any time they're using the eye, pretty much he's either covering the, he's taking the, they're taking the yard and trying to make it an I to E type, almost I type sound. So that's how they come up with Israel. <clears throat> they're saying, I'll give you your yard, but I'm telling you that your, your Y is actually an I type. Y'all got it? Mm -hmm. Remember they teach your, your so-called vibes with showing you they use them all the time, the, the, the cool A-E-I-O-U-N. Sometimes they let your Y make the Y sound. Yeah, sometimes they come in and tell you that your Y makes an I sound. So you need to know how they think, how they operate, so you can start seeing patterns, how you being worked. I'm telling you, a lot of times people don't know how they get worked. Even with basketball, people are working, you don't even know how you're getting worked a lot of times. Then somebody sat back and watched and said, I'm going to tell you how he beat you. He beat you off the dribble. There's a lot of stuff until somebody show you, you don't know how you getting beat every time. And what happened, you, you using this system and you don't watch them, they beat you every time. Because they all got a consensus. They all work and say certain things. Let me tell you why you got strong um, Browns, Briggs, and all these bastards together. Because everybody have a different opinions on what they feel like it is. They took each other work, and people build from other people work, and then people will go back and some people look at some things and realize you really didn't put this together correctly. Do y'all know that? And we watch a lot of this stuff. This, this is the problem that you can't do. You can't sit around and count on these people to be accurate. That's just me. I just, y'all want me to tell you a lie, I'll tell you the truth. Okay, who pop in what? These people don't know, because first of all, they about to heard it spoke. Right. <sighs> Let me tell you something. You think these people left an original tribe or some people sent somewhere? These people have made sure they've gone through everybody. Go look at your National Geographic. These bastards go find some folks in the wall. They name called Drew Booty. They found them. Yep. And they're going to go out there, listen. Drew Booty said, like, oh, oh, oh. they said, he's saying, and right now, he, you said, you pay, how you know that? Yep. They don't speak no English. You speak, how you know exactly what he's saying? That's right. But yo, the folk, he tell you that you said, hold on for a minute. I know you can't be accurate because it don't make sense that every one of his words equivalent to what you said. Yeah. But some stuff we have, there's no way they can define it because it's not the same system. It's not the same culture. Don't buy into there is an exact word that makes no sense. So a lot of stuff you tell, no matter to this is really just you sitting down thinking to actually sit here and believe that they have an exact word to every word you have is a lie. These people are breaking things down where it's coming for them, not for you. They know they don't know, but you don't know because you're the litter that's come along way after the people that were actually captured. You take an animal exact from the wild, you put him into captivity, he knows. How you think they get the animal to come to them and do these tricks? Go to the wild, walk up, come here, boy, come here. Go to a wild, just do it, so come, do this to him and see what happens. <laughs> By the time you get that third slap, you should be chewed up. You train them. You'll train them, just like a puppy. When a mother dog has a puppy, she's going to get them some discipline training based off of what she knows. I'm just trying to break some stuff. I don't want us to be stupid, okay? That's all. I just don't want, I don't want to be open to just, just leave your mind open to where, at the end of the day, the only thing I care about is being saved. That's it. To do that, we got to really just watch everybody. It's a system that works. It's a system that got all these groups divided. It's a system that got, we see these folks walk around, their mama curves on their shoulder. We can laugh at them, and it's funny, but somebody gave them something to put them now. Yeah. And the whole end, of it, everybody is trying to get as original, as, as, and, uh, as authentic as possible, but they put so much trash and junk in front of you, and then we don't have no filters, so you wind up catching all the good. Run your car and don't put no filter in there and see how much trash and lead get up in there and clog your engine and shut it down. That's what happened to us in our armor now. That's what happened with our mindset. We don't have no filter. Which means you have to go through these people's stuff and you have to be at a certain place. So when you start receiving things, it's got to make, let's see, sense. I got five of them. So this is what I'm, this is what I'm gonna go with, Justin. I just said because I looked at you. Any of y'all, I don't, I, that was not, I just said it because I haven't looked at Aaron. So I'm to believe 
that when Adam was walking, he had pen and paper. Some things I have to know he knew about Elohim from sense. Hmm? I ran because the third chapter of the book of Barashit said. No, sir, I heard you. So what was I using? I could tell from my senses in dealing with you that you were coming and that was an angry move. I knew I needed to been gone. If I got to tell you, everything got to be written out in certain things because it becomes customary when you're constantly doing something. There are things you pick up and you learn. You don't give me six senses, five senses, and then you say, let them go. Just take all book. When I read, I hear something. Y'all say, I look at something. I say, my walk up. Because right then, I ain't got it, so I don't have to wait on that one. Because I ain't finna fake nothing to try to go nowhere. I did that when I was a Christian. I ain't faking nothing for nobody. I've been faking. Yep, yep. It don't make sense. I gotta understand it. You ain't give me five cents in the brain to tell me don't use it. What kind of stuff? Let go, let God. That tell me stupid. I ain't letting go unless something better gonna catch me. Uh, come on, let, let me see. How much? If thou be rich, give what you got and give it all the way to the poor. I I strive to put things up to accumulate wealth. To tell me to give it away, don't add up with my sense. Unless you told me I'm going to have more somewhere else. <laughs> what, what kind of, people just live, he told the man, told the boy to give away everything he had. He can't tell me that, I'm going to go for it. Unless you're going to declare I'm going to got something different, so I got a, a, a greater income, it don't make sense. You know, people say, see, that's you. The spirit tell me to do something. That's because you're stupid. And people are telling you to be stupid. That's why you him. You know who can't afford to be stupid? Niggas. You already stupid. You sitting here, that place should have been abrupt. They shouldn't have a city that ain't pulled apart. Especially when you see this kind of bull junk these folk pulling. You got $13 billion. We're in the worst pandemic we ever seen. We got catastrophe, war, gas, shoot through the roof. You shipped off $13 billion on top of arms and bullets and $350 million went out before that? Man, piss on these people in their gas. Yeah, somebody told me we're going to get rid of some taxes, some tax on gas. Get rid of the gas altogether. This stuff shouldn't be over 89 cents, 79 cents. You put the gas price down, then the price will go down and people can afford to live and buy houses. There's no way anywhere people can buy houses. Everybody that knows three hundred thousand dollars. Minimum house at two hundred thousand. People don't even make that kind of money. That means that every person will have to make about fifty thousand dollars a year. Sixty thousand. Anything to force you out of it. They're gonna make provision for white people. They're gonna make provision for other people. They're not going to make provision for you. And that's why I'm pissed. You know what they're going to put the pressure on? The Negro churches. What the church is doing? The church got the nigga in the mess in the first place. And these ignorant preachers out of you, they had to stop being a church because this is the same thing on you to condition you to be a fool. That's right. I mean, men don't want to put, they don't want to drive, they ain't got the unction no more to go. Church did it to them. They took away, I'm telling you, y'all done lost y'all hunting skill. Your senses, they dull. I'm telling you, dull. It, it, man, I sense it, dull. Man, this here, man. Shh. Man, when Ari eat, Ari gonna lay down and go to sleep. When Ari get up, I'm hungry again. He hungry again. See, these folks don't condition us now. Well, we don't learn to cut our appetite. Learn to do less and do more and, and bring in less. They don't condition. No other race gonna take it. Nobody else gonna take it. Everybody else is going to try to fit and take, do what they got to do to try to get it. They show you all them third world countries they call, they third world, they get them to the title. All them people, it's survival. And the only people going to survive is going to be the fit and the strong. You know how all them people out there fight? They fighting as clans. Let me tell you something. Don't, 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 don't. Don't, don't pay attention to these people. These people cause so much mess and so much rucker. Y'all know why all these folks out here fight. Do y'all really know why all those people are there fighting? You got two sets of people. You got the Shiites and you got the Sunnis. Okay? The Shiites are the largest amount. Guess who they put over them? 
Sunni. What you think gonna happen? When Muhammad died, Muhammad left and the whole fight been, who holds closer to what he teaching? So now these people say here looking, we the larger clan, but somebody else ruling over us, and we don't believe you got it like us. You know who's responsible for that? The British and America. That's what tore up Iraq. Most of y'all don't know what happened, do you? They actually put Saddam, the Ba'a Party, in position. That's why he can't hold down none of the rest of the areas over there. He can't hold down to Kurt. He can't hold down the rest of Baghdad. Because these people pissed, because they're trying to look at, you're there because the Americans put you there and the British. And we don't believe you. We don't believe you hold it what Muhammad holds to. They left all those Arabs over there, and they ain't got no better brain. They got all these people fighting, and none of them got no brain to realize, me and you do believe the same thing. We believe in the Prophet Muhammad, that's their teaching. We believe in Allah. We believe in hell, we believe in all this stuff here. We have a difference on how many times we pray. We have a difference on a couple of other differences. But the people we get along with real well don't believe nothing of what we That's believe. Right. That's right. They're over here sucking all our oil from the ground. Hey, you seen, let me ask you something. How many Arabs y'all seen on here with a gas station? I'm talking about the real ones. The side is all these folks. White folks get their gas and bring on here, pump their gas, put it in all these places, run their gas, they get the real profits. They'll never make what the white man would. Let me tell you something. All these folks in prayer with the Saudi guy, do you actually think these crackers go sit in their face and leave there and they come out less than them? First of all, y'all sand niggas. You think we let y'all sand niggas take something to the market? No more than they let us took stuff from, took crop from the field and take them and get cashed in. We got what master brought us back. No master tell me I'm going to take it. They know me. I'm going to go take it and bring you back half. Them Joe don't even talk world. They don't even know how to talk world. No world trade, no conversation. They just learning. After the white man done beat them for a year, the white man done got enough of their art, beat them enough profit. You can do what you want to do. Where them niggas come to play at? Right here in America. They train to believe this is better, this is greater, this where you want to be. All these folks around the world, if you ain't nobody here, you ain't nobody around the world. You bring a top, best, fastest, stronger out of bringing him, and we walk right past that nigga. You go to America, you could be a professional athlete on the bench. You could be in there washing the laundry. Him, my America, he won, he won laundry. Emily, Emily. Taking pictures with him. Steady grinning and spinning. These folks love it. That white, white folk tricked everybody. Folk leave Africa, natural food, nat plant, all the wind, the breeze, all those niggas come on here to go buy his food from Piggly Wiggly. Man, get fresh kill. Spirit, fresh, can't get no better what they get. Come here to shop at Kroger. Fruit been here nine months. But they blow your mind and make you think that what they give you is better. We ain't no better because they looking at us. It can't be too bad. Look at all us dumb niggas. That's everybody looking at. How bad could it be? All these dumb niggas here? Happy, content, and loving these people? Get shot and blame it on the person get shot. Why was they living in the first place? They shouldn't have been breathing. They, it's an embarrassment. It's an embarrassment. First chance I get them out of him, I show them better than I tell them. First chance I get them out of him, if I want y'all white boy, y'all watching, I want to come to my house and try to make me leave. We ain't going to do no talking. For the record, why are we scared of these folks? We ain't done nothing. Why we the folk got always defend our existence? Right. Explain to white folk what we mean. What are we doing to white folks? When you said that, Chris? <laughs> you know what happened? This is, this is that time you had that interactive member. Man. He about thought we were doing question and answer. You get you was in the spirit of Chris. He was, <laughs> it just, it's, it just, it's, it just, it's, 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 it's
They saying pray for you. That's all I'm saying. Pray for send crypto. You see what I'm saying? Why nobody ain't sending these folk telling you commercial? Send crypto. If you like to send relief, I like to send my foot up with they behind. Right. You're like, I ain't sending them crap or nothing. Right. I'm sitting here trying to make, I got my own folk need help. They show some nigga daughter from Detroit. Man, I hope your practice crash. I hope everything you do, everything you take. I hope your thethoscope start working. I hope your thermometer spot the mercury run out of it. Tell me if you go to Ukraine, they need help. How many niggas in Detroit need help? Y'all know how many sick niggas in Detroit? You ain't seen no war zone you've been to Detroit. And you finna go over there. Where? Ain't nothing but a dumb nigga. Tell me my friends them. They, nigga, them ain't your friends? Were them niggas calling you before this? Nope. Did them niggas ask you to come indulge in the lithium in the ground? Indulge in the oil? Please don't ask me indulge in the fight. That's right. I got to share in the profits. Yep. I got to get, we got to bust that profit down. Right. Man, pick up no oil. I'm mercenary. And I help you fight, but I'm gonna be shooting from over him. <laughs> now the bullet draw shot, now that ain't on me. I was aiming for Russell. <laughs> well, that bullet, I don't know where it's going. I just tell you, get down. Y'all hear me? I don't know when it's gonna stop. Man, ain't going on that. Get on no plane. Man, ain't gonna walk through no cold for nobody. Man, cold. Man, please. Got time to be trying to shoot nobody, no land. Now, get out in the sun. Man, it's cold down now. Y'all ain't got no heater. I come fight when it warm up. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. Man, it's dead, dead winter snow. Ain't no lead. Where a nigga gonna hide at? Why you gonna step? Why you gonna like an oil spill on the ground out there? Right. I ain't coming out there and fight on no white ground. Nigga gonna be glowing at night. Y'all done seen when that dark snow is still look like it light. My black skin won't crawl that white snow. <laughs> nigga, please. Ain't <laughs> that right? Look like no fool. All right, let me know. All right, this is this is nineteen. All right, let's see what they talking. Uh -huh. Days, these, and hold on. Oh, and he said to them, "What thing?" And they said unto him concerning Yahushua of Nazareth, which was a no. I am, I am, I am be you. This is the same thing. I am, I am be you. Yeah. They go ahead and just go and put the uh, put the Septuagint up, not the Septuagint. Go ahead and put the uh, Latin Vulgate up now. They said further, but I, I read this stuff too from where we've been reading. This joke will misspell stuff like I do. <laughs> they got man, how you gonna write a book, CD, man? You supposed to get my proofread that stuff. My sense of tweets out, I know what I put. I, I said, what? And you, it don't let you go back and like put something. I guarantee it ain't because I can't spell it, it's called Twitter be moving too fast. Then they be trying to count the word. Man, I don't know how to, I don't have time for that fool's man. Just let me finish out what I got to say. Not a whole nigga know. What, a hundred characters or something? What is it? 124 characters? Man, I ain't got time for all that stuff. <laughs> all right. Let's see what they said. To whom he said. Uh, what things, and they said unto him. Concerning Yahushua of Nazareth. Those that watch it, you can go to the uh, Latin Vulgate. The Latin Vulgate is older than your 1611 King James perversion. So we're just looking at the Latin Vulgate. We want to switch up some, okay? We go back and forth, but I just want to check behind people all the way. I'm going to look. Now, Latin Vulgate is older than what we read. You agree, Boston? Appreciate it, Tim. <laughs> He's speaking for Boston. Thank you, Moses. I was just going to get to that. <laughs> Uh -huh. I appreciate you, Moses. <laughs> and how you do it, Ronald? I appreciate you, Moses. I was going to get to that. Battery, Gerald, <laughs> Cheryl, <laughs> Danielle. All <laughs> you all on the chain. Come on. The homies said what things, and they said, Concerning Yahushua of Nazareth, which was a Nabi, mighty indeed, and Debar, before Elohim and all the on. Let's see what happened. And how the Rosh Kohanim and our Sari delivered him to be condemned to moot and have crucified him. But we trusted that it had been he 
which should have redeemed Yasharal. And beside all this, this yum is the Shalishi yum since these things were done. Yea, and certain Nashim also of our company made us astonished, which were early at the sepulchre. And when they found not his body, they came saying that they had also seen a kazoon of Malachi, which said that he was Kai. And certain of them which were with us went to the sepulchre and found it even so as the Nashim had said, but him they saw not. Then he said unto them, Allah oh. is what he said. Right? And what did he say his definition for Allah was? Y'all wrote it down. But here he said, Oh foolish and slow of law to a man in all things which the Nabaeen have spoken. Yeah. Who? Seir Da'ak. It's the word. Kasir Da'ak is the word for old set of fools. Well, let's put it up there. Let well, me put it down. Our lives, no. An expression of grief, pity, or concern. So I think it said Allah said that first, didn't it? But it, it, it said, goes over. Oh, I think it's where they would, would put Allah. It says oh, oh yeah. Allah. So he would have said an expression of grief mm -hmm. or pity. Okay, for the oh. And so Da'ah. Mm -hmm. oh, he's going back to little 24. That's 24 you went past. Oh, I'm sorry. 25. Allah, we did. You did. Uh, Allah. Mm -hmm. He's going to look it up and tell us so we know. Hoy. Hoy is the word for alas. Huh? Chassari for lack. Da'ath is knowledge. Yes, sir. Kasari is for lack, knowledge, da'ath, if he got that right. Okay? But I would say it foolish. The, the the Greeks, I mean the Latins, recorded foolish. Let me see what the, let me see what his word is. Alas, that he used him. I want to look at the foolish. There's a reason it makes sense in expression. What did what did you say? Oh, I appreciate it. I appreciate you, Coda. <laughs> no, Chelsea. <laughs> He come. Uh, okay. Hoy. Oh. Ah, alas. Oh. Oh. Whoa. What is destruction? So it's rendered, this could be rendered many different ways. What is that going to take us? Pull on from the form. It's the root. Oh, the root is here. See the root is. I take it to the ha. The ha is the root, right, Boston? Okay. Well, one of them here. I heard you heard me. Uh, how? Whole. Premonition. It's not helping me. And that's saying this is the root, 1929. Expressing grief at last. Saying, so it take it back to the root, expressing grief. So he called him a fool. He was expressing grief. Okay? Y'all got it? Yeah. When we root it all the way back, the final form of the ha. They, so they put ha ah. Yeah, that's how they put it. Okay. That's Aha. Primitive word expressing pain. Exclamatory. Exclamatory. Ah, alas. Okay, expressing grief. All right, let's go back. Okay. He took us all over the place with that. So he put foolish. Let me look at foolish right quick. I'll get a chance, I'll get y'all. 
stuff for him, not I get to it. But it's more important to get this understanding. Because you don't get it right, you're gonna, we're going to miss out. And what we can't afford to do is burn because we ain't got this thing right. right. Oh, you're looking at it foolish? No, I want to look at it from the English. Because it's, it's an English word, so I want to look it up. Appreciate it, though. He put, oh, foolish. So I want to see when the Latins, when they rendered this word foolish, I want to know what they were looking at. Of a person or an action lacking good sense or judgment. It makes sense, unwise. He let it, they weren't making good sense. It didn't make good sense. They lacked judgment. That makes sense. You know, we call people foolish, but how many of us didn't know that was the definition to that degree? We call a person a fool. We pretty much look at you stupid. So if you foolish, it's kind of like, you know, in the same premise. But here, he's telling us a person or actions lacking good sense or judgment, unwise. Okay? So that makes sense. Don't you think so? Because, look, they're telling him a situation that happened, right? And when the people came, they didn't find, and they, then they tell them what the time was. So it would make sense that even running the word foolish would make sense by definition, because these were people that really lacked understanding. Okay? So this was something he would have been looking at. They lacked good sense or judgment. We talked about what do we use? Five senses. Five senses. I don't know why I keep it. I thought about the movie Sixth Sense. So I think the six will kick in when we get Rockney. So, because that's not going to build a man, so you can have six senses. So, we'll act like we can't. So, the thing becomes, we don't want to pe be people that lack good judgment. Y'all got it? And that hurts because now these people were told some things. He taught them, right? Lumber them. And now they've seen these things happen, and they come up with the wrong, they came up with the wrong conclusion. And that's something that we got to look at. So now the word foolish that they to run that made sense because this definitely shows they lacking good sense or judgment that this was unwise. Okay? Let's go back and look at that. We look at he was calling them stupid. No, you just lack good sense. Let's see why. Let's see. Then he said unto them, O foolish and slow of the law to a man in all things which the Nabaim have spoken. Oh. Ought expected, obligated not to, ought not Mashiach to have suffered these things and so to enter into his kaboom. This is a question he's asking him. Y'all got it? Mm -hmm. Shouldn't he have done this in order for him to enter into his kaboom? So this has to make sense to you, but it didn't make sense to them. It just didn't make sense. They lack good judgment. Let's see what he did. Come on. And beginning at Musha and all the Nabaim, he expounded unto this, expounded to them in all of the Kitabim writings, scriptures, the things that were concerning because you already showed me you lack judgment. So what I'm explaining to you about the things of Allahim, you need to know about me. So when I teach it to you, it needs to be explained that you understand my existence, you understand my demise. Let's see this. And they drew nigh to the town whether they were going, and he made as though he would have gone further. But they constrained him, saying, Stay with, with who? Us. Because it is evening, and the yume is now far. Finished. And he went with them. Now, this is something you ought to look at. We got another situation where a person did it. Y'all got a lot of questions, so it's going to be coming over time. I need answers. I'll give y'all another. Y'all remember? I need answers on paper. Yes, sir. Which word? But they constrain him, saying, stay with us because it is toward, towards evening and the day is now far spent. And he went in with them. I forgot in. All right, well, I'm sorry. Appreciate that. See that? Paying attention. A lot of them folk missed that because they ain't not paying attention to learn. And it came to pass, while he was at the table with them, he took Lacan, Barak, and Break, and gave to them. Their wounds were open, open and they knew him. And he vanished out of there. Mm. And they said one to, a, one to the other, was not our laws burning within us? While as he spake in the rock, and opened to us Kitabin. What did that mean? It wasn't food anymore? Food. Hold on, you said it wasn't food anymore? Well, what did it tell me if he opened it? You can't open something unless it was closed. 
See, that's what they looked at. See that? He spoke to them in the Dirac, remember? And he opened to us the Ketabim. They were closed. Basically saying he opened up, basically he expounded to us. He explained it to us. He limited us. See, you can have something you've been looking at and reading, and it just take the right person or the right situation to come back. And guess what they said? The light clicked on. What were these new writings he gave them? Same writings. He just showed them where he existed in them. How all of these writings were basically talking about me. See, you can read if you know a point of what you're looking for. What happened with a lot of us that spread with Chris? Chris just read. But I, I just read. I just like just read. I know you ain't going nowhere. I get folk. I'm mean, Ray at me one one and they say it's something you can tell me so I can study what I taught. Cause you study. You might want to tell me I'm just using for example. I tell folk I'm against all that self study stuff folk be doing. Stay with the fold. So I know, I know like, I, I like to just be read. I know you're going to be one I'm going to have a problem with. Because you're going to read something, you're going to want me to fix your junk. I don't have time to fix your stuff. Stay with what I teach. I'm just telling you the truth. I ain't got time to fix y'all junk. Yeah, I was read, man. I, okay, what you tell me about it for? So I'm ain't talking, I don't know what you're asking me about it for. That's your adventure. Learn what you're being taught first. Let me see. What did he tell Timothy? And the things that thou... And the things that thou... Has what? Has heard from me. The same, the same commit thou to Amun and Anashin, who shall be able to teach others. And what are they going to teach them? New things. The same thing. I don't need you studying that now. Because I ain't got time to clean your junk up. You go ahead and you read it. And when you get twisted up, and you jump up and you spit out your mouth and start speaking in tongues, I'm going to beat you right back in your seat because you out of order. Don't make sense. I don't know. Folks be all want to. I be want to know. Let me see you. Let me see you manifest what you're being taught. Let me tell you what, I'm tell you what I found when folks do that stuff. I wasn't one of them people. I was never one of them people. I ain't never go do no. I know something like a private Bible study. Me and some of the brothers get together. I used to tell my time. I say, ain't no brother going to teach me nothing. I tell them, I ain't play that stuff. Pop or something like, yeah, you know. Yeah, I said, they'll be looking at some stuff. I'm show you. You ain't going to show it to me. I tell you, we shutting it down now. It'll never happen. I swat that stuff. Man, no brother teach me that. See, a lot of them, they, they can hit right. They think about that stuff. They ain't teaching. We be bouncing stuff off of it. Bouncing in the wrong basket. I don't know how. Why would he tell him the things he heard of him, the same commit thou to Amina on the who shall be able? Why don't you just lose them? Everybody ain't got You can't teach nobody. A lot of folks be trying to tell you something. It's a lot of, let me tell you something. This is true. It's a lot of people know a whole lot of stuff. Come up here and show it to me. I ain't even being funny. Come and show it to her. Why me had to clean that junk up? Junk, they done studied and read and completely backward. Because he ain't gave it to you. You just thinking you doing good where you at. But I assure you, if you knew more and you what you knew, you actually knew. He'd have gave you one of these right here. And a, listen, he'd have gave you a Bostic and a Tim and a, and a Dwight. And that Dwight going to have a nasty attitude. And a Jahi who's going to be jumping over you. Hey, uh, you know, somebody else was doing it before too. He's going to tell them. Give you two of these screens and give you a little YouTube account. At least two followers. So you can have three witnesses at the most. I be trying to tell, let me tell you something. It ain't about just how much you know, it's how well you can regurgitate, how well you can explain what it is you see and what you comprehend. So you have people trying to do, they don't comprehend what they know they sell. There's a whole lot of people know a lot of stuff. I said, teach it to me. I told one time, Joe, brother, when he, that Joe, that Joe knew that man, that Joe, so I said, I said, show Pastor what you know. He tried to explain that thing. I said, mm hmm. I said, that's no. I said, you just know how to answer questions. You can explain what you did to save your life. But I said to myself, I, just, I knew he knew what he knew. He was trying to see, and, and uh, he was doing counseling, tree, all that. I said, that, I said he, he was trying to, like, and I said, mm-hmm. I let him know. I know. I understand. You just know how to put it on paper. You can't really explain what it is you're doing. Right. I'm telling you, you'll kill him. Just say, explain your answer. You'll kill him. Just explain how you came up with that equation. So you do that. I had to come back and explain how I come up with it. Well, y'all give me your answer. Your answer different to what I'm thinking. I had to explain why your answer couldn't work or how it could work. Then I start showing what you need to look at. I explain y'all. Pay attention to what you're doing. Stay with inside your parameter. Y'all will jump way out there somewhere. They say, I don't know what I was thinking. Go and listen to what I just told you. 
Stay with what you're being taught. Stay right inside. I'm not going to ask you something you don't know. That's not going to make sense. You're going to get it wrong because you don't know it. You got it? It's got to be something you've been taught. Y'all got it? He told your mother, go out there, listen, man, and the spirit jump on you. Teach that. He said, no, you can't do no stuff. He said, man, you teach what I taught you. What you heard me teach? That's what you teach. Y'all all right? All right. We did it, da, da, da. and it came to pass while as he was at the table with them, he took bread and Barak and break and gave it to them and their eyes were, wounds were open and they knew him and he vanished out of their sight. And they said one to another, was not our law burning within us while he spoke to us in the rock and opened to us the Kittabim and rising up the same hour they went back to Jerusalem and they found the 11 gathered together and those that were with them saying the Yahuwah is Coon. Indeed. That's of a true. Because you got to remember, it made sense because it was already being said, but nobody had no proof. Remember, they told you the women, see, I don't pay attention that mm. quick. The women had already came and told them that they went there, they couldn't find him. Mm. They were saying he was up. They were looking at, we ain't got no proof. We went back, we don't see him. We'll testify he gone, we can't say he up. But now, since he done came and opened their understanding, and now they understand the writers, they knew it was a truth now. Y'all got it. It's the truth now. now do, 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 do. This is what happened. What, what happened? In it. You're at 34. Okay, so. now, where well, I'm at, 34? Yeah. Saying that Yahuwah is cum indeed and has appeared to Shimon, and they told what things were done in the, the, rock. the rock and how they knew him in the breaking of Lacombe. Of Lacombe. Now, while as they were speaking, these things, Yahushua stood in the midst of them and said to them, Shalom be to you. It is I fear not. But they being troubled and frightened, suppose they had saw a Ruah. That's why he know these nigga nigga run when they see ghosts. Of sin. <laughs> First thing they holler, I'm Yahushua. They gonna tear the wall out. Ho! Don't get scared. Don't shoot. Try to calm folk down because they ready. <laughs> what you gonna do? Showing you, we don't we didn't deal with folk jumping up, resurrecting folk just going and going. Man, we folk, we thought you was a rule. We finna take off and bust out of him. Okay. Uh, see my hands and feet. And I skipped on. And he said to them, Why are you troubled and why do thoughts arise in your uh, laws? See my hands and feet, that it is I myself handle and see. For a ruach have not but saw and bones uh, as you see me to have. And when he had said this, he shewed them his hands and feet, which is his regard. But while they yet among right. and wondered for, he said, have you here anything to eat? And they offered him a piece of broiled fish and a honeycomb. I like my fry. And when he had eaten before, I got to tell the truth, taking the remains, eating before them, taking the remains he gave to them, and he said to them, these are the Operating. which I spake to you while I was yeah, with, you. with you, that all things must needs be fulfilled, complete, Tamim, which are written in the tour. See, all they know is complete. We use it fulfill. It's complete. It's finished. Everything had to be finished. That's all he would tell me. I had to finish it. It's got to be complete. That's all he told me. Listen, which was written. And which was Katab in the Torah of Musha and in the Nabaim and in the Talim mm -hmm. concerning who? Me. Then he opened their understanding. What was he opening first? Get them. Tell them again. Their minds. He opened to them the scriptures. That didn't work. So I need to open your understanding so that they might understand the Kitabim. So it had open, own, open writings, and still they didn't completely believe. See, this is what a man do when you start going through trying to find out what your problem is. Now, I called you unwise. I call you not making good sound decision, foolish. But now I'm going through examining what do I need to open. I opened the scriptures, right? I clearly didn't write it. Didn't he open the scriptures? I sat down with y'all to open your own, so now you can see the writings and see me, but still there was doubt, Sis, still lack. So people thinking, just open the scriptures enough. No, open the eyes enough. No, now I got to make sure I open your understanding. 
So now we're working on completeness. See, some of us don't have it. I mean, Yahushua worked on healing people, and his whole thing was about getting people completeness. It made no sense to heal people and lead them incomplete. It made no sense to come if I'm trying to get you somewhere and not make sure you have full understanding of what you got. Just opening the scriptures is not enough. Just opening your own is not enough. Your understanding's got to open. That's how you're going to broaden your horizon. Y'all got it? Okay. I just want to make sure we're paying attention. Then he opened their understanding that they might understand the... Get the beam. Because <laughs> if you have a doubt, your doubts came from what you've heard, what you've been taught. So let's open the book, let's open your own, but then let's get back and open your understanding. Mm -hmm. Let's see why did he do this. Open their understanding and... Uh, that's all. Then he opened their understanding that they might... Understand the kid to be. Then we go through the kid to be before we did understand it. Mm -hmm. So now I got back to realize that's what a good doctor does. So your problem is you just need understanding. So now we got understanding when the scriptures are open and your own is enlightened. Guess what? Now you can understand the writing. This is important for us. Mm -hmm. And he said to them, thus it is it's written and thus it is. Who? It's a must. Mashiach to so. and to come again from the moot. The to see you. and that repentance. We put the repent. Repentance is what they use the Greek, Roman Greek word. And remission, with remission, which is the removing of kataim, should be preached, proclaimed where in his shim, his shim unto all believe. beginning at Jerusalem. Jerusalem, that's where Yehuda is. And you are Witness. witnesses of these things. The reason why we're looking at this, let me see something. Da, 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 da. See if that's the 40th chapter right quick of Yeshayahu. Yeshayahu, they call Isaiah 40. See that 40 and 1, let me see. Yes, Yes, Yeah, what's that? What's all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't use this, you gotta use the um, Septuagint. Or we might have go back where we were, so that's really, you had to go Septuagint. The Greeks went back, so they went back and recorded this too? Okay, we come and speak. I said, the only reason why I say that, we'll go back to who? Septuagint, I think it's with SC. What do you, what do you SC Septuagint? Oh, he's trying to find a version of it, appreciate it. That's a lot of work, and I appreciate y'all guys for what y'all do back there. Because they, they ain't sitting back there for free. They had to do some work. So why lie y'all be sleeping? No, no. I got to do look at your living. It makes sense why you sleep. I know we tired, we going to work, but you got to look at it. You working when you out here or nothing. You got to get this work, too. You got to get this, just like you get on that job and stay walking on them people's job to get them people money. You better get this right so you can get that man's salvation. All right, let's see what he told you. Since he said that, come to mind. Let's see, listen. For comfort ye. Comfort com who? Ye. Who? My arm. Okay. Say Allahim. I said, say it who? Allahim. Do what? Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem. Speak ye Kohanim to the laws of Jerusalem. Okay. Comfort her. And Syoch unto her that her welfare is accomplished. Let's say that. He said, for her humiliation is accomplished. Her kataim is, is pardoned. Is put away. Now, the reason, slide down for a second. The reason why we came and we looked at that. I think I said this out to y'all today. Yes, sir. Okay, pay attention to what he did. Y'all do know when he was walking with them people, you didn't believe what they were doing. They was doing what? Morning? You said it was daylight? I know what you meant. That's right, they were morning. They were crying. So what would they need? Wow. Yes, sir. Yes, Yahoo just told him to do something. Comfort ye. Comfort them. Y'all see what he want him to do? Comfort them. Listen. That's what Elohim said. He told you, speak ye. Kohanim. And he would have been attached to Louis, to the Louis. To the laws of that's where he was at, Jerusalem. Comfort her. For her is 
You ain't gonna believe them, they were walking. That's why they walked and they were sad. They said, we supposed they had been him. Mm. And besides all this, what, so let me get you up. What kind of feelings you think they had? Why would they be in humiliation? But now he came to comfort them. That's why they had Shusha. See, if you don't know how to put things together, they, they, well, they say, they think, come on up here, come on. <laughs> you see how what I put makes sense? Look at what else happened. Listen, for her humiliation is, for her Qatar is put away. For she has received of the Yahuwah's hand double the amount of her kataim. The voice of one socking in the Bamar. Prepare ye the of the Yahuwah make straight the path of my of our Allahim. So now what are we looking at? What the purpose of him coming out? Did he ever charge them with not believing? No. Tell them louder. No. You're exactly right. He didn't. It was because of Amunah. It was important for him to come and reiterate some things, to verify <clears throat> some things that will strengthen them, to give them soundness. That's the purpose of why we'll go back over. Sometimes you'll hear one thing and it's not really been assured. Like when he told um, Barnabas, they called Timothy, he told him another thing, the know of whom he was assured of him. Y'all got it? Because we're trying to build Amunah to base with our belief that when things happen, we don't shatter and we don't stagger. So a lot of us, when some don't go our way or some look catastrophe or some look bad, man, maybe, maybe salvation, maybe it ain't real. Maybe this whole thing a dream. Maybe I should be out in the street with them. No, you just got to get soundness. Y'all got, that was the purpose of him confirming some things with these people. In the book of Danny All in the ninth chapter, he told he was going to confirm some things with them for one week. Mm -hmm. For one, he was going to set and all he was going back, that's what he was doing. That was in the week. That's why he kept, remember, he had just went over that. He came right back when he got them sunny, what he did? Confirm. Confirming it. Right. Who have we found dead confirming? I need that answer on paper. I need to know who else we had that were confirming. So y'all got three questions now. Have y'all groups been writing them down? Yes. I N G. B I N G O. B I. NGO, B I N G O, and Bingo was his name. Oh. You don't know that. That's for your time. Yeah. So now, this is what I want you guys to understand when we went back over that. Okay? Why? You can think that you're somewhere until situations come, you don't actually know your bearings. Okay? When I'm talking about that, this ain't about when you fall, it's when situations come and then you don't, when you challenge, you don't handle them the correct way. And that'll come, this is some people fall, okay, I failed the test, so I can't be saved, right? So what's the purpose of me coming? What's the purpose of me paying tithes? What's the purpose of me doing anything? I might well drink. See, you, you, people, it's people that actually frame themselves for failure. Oh, yeah, I watch some of y'all. Some of y'all wear stuff way too long. And some stuff, it ain't, not that everything is serious, but some things are not to the end of how long people might drag them. That's not to every person. I watch some of y'all on some menial things, it drag you too long. So if a bigger test came, you done. You're done. It's just being honest. And then what you don't look at how important it is for you to realize, man, you got to be able to get up. You got to be able to stand. I mean, phew. man, every situation came at me, I just fell down and I was done. I'd be, phew. it'd be over with. You know what I mean? Folks count on me to be up. And not to mention, I'm counting on me. I don't just put it all on nobody else. 
I'm putting on, I'm counting on me. I ain't drug my behind this far to sit here and get drugged through no mud and just quit. I came here to die for this thing. Y'all got me? Now, when I first came, I came so I wouldn't die. Then I learned you got to die. So then I had to understand the different deaths. See, I thought when folk got saved, I mean, church folk died, but I thought they ain't die. Y'all got what I'm saying? Church folk died, but I thought they didn't die. I thought folks in the world died, so I came to church, so I wouldn't die. Then I got and found out you got to die. Then I realized you ain't got to die the second time. So then I had to learn the different death. You can't escape this one. All I'm living for now is to escape the second one. I messed up on the first one. It ain't no one. I did it too many times and the wages of it. That's got to be done. But now if he held me to, well, you ain't going to die. There ain't no death to it. Then I can't believe nothing else he say. I got everything staked on that this man going to do what he said. Do y'all know he got, if he don't reward me like he said when something wrong, how am I trust him reward me something? I know how you thinking. No, I just want all good. No, I need to know you're going to keep your word because I'm holding all of it. If you're only going to do the good part, I ain't going to pay attention to none of the other stuff. I ain't worried about that. But it's the fact that I know you walk on both ends. Huh? That man said, I make it rain on the just. It well, it doesn't just. That man said, when I walk down here, shh, man, he run to every man. He said, I come back. He said, I'm going to run to every eat according as it work. I'm, being. I'm counting them to do it. Some folk done done me wrong. I need them folk need to go to Sheol. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Them folk need to go to Sheol for what they done done. That's right. And there's some stuff I'm looking at Yahuwah do to come and deliver some. So I'm looking to hold them to his debauch like he said he's going to do the wit. He said, a roach, he's going to cast them in that unquenchable fire. That's right. And I'm looking at him to do what he said. I'm looking at him to deliver the Sadat just like he said. So when I see him reward one for one deed, I say, I can count him to do the other. Right. I ain't used to understand, but see, when I was, I ain't understand that like that. I ain't understand, you know, I said, well, he ain't got to do that. He, 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 he ain't got to, he ain't got to do nothing and let nothing happen to nobody. He but if he don't do that, how am I count him to do what he said he's going to do? I got to know he do what he said. He rented to Abraham just like he said. And he rented to Asu just like he said. He said, I hate him. He said he can build if he wants to, I'm going to tear it down. Right. You know what I looked at? I ain't finna give up my birthright. I ain't finna give up mine. What you think that made me do? He come back and gave that man and said, man, you established. Don't worry about that. Then what you think I'm going to do? I'm going to give up mine too. Y'all got me. I'm saying, what the part time went that drive me? Man, that white boy told me, well, before we went, I used to go to the white boy. He said, I ain't going. That white boy, let him tell you, calm down. You ain't got to keep going. I said, I said. I said, I ain't coming. I ain't showing up no more, but I said, y'all done. I ain't never coming. Man, ain't going no drive me. It was done. I said, white bun, I stood y'all down. Y'all done. I seen y'all whole car. They kept trying to tell me, calm down. Like, calm. They, he, left, I ain't, he said, man, I ain't coming. Y'all can have. They like, calm. They trying to calm him down. Tom Smith, look. My Simeon kid on. Do, 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 do. I'll be waiting on the admin. I ain't coming. I was going to be telling that lady, I said, just like that white boy told you. I'll be loud with it. I know you done. Y'all, they, 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 they get what they put on now. Drive me. Mandatory. I see y'all done messed up. Now let me see your whole car. They ain't coming. Y'all done. You won't see me. So I just want us to understand that the reason why you need Amana is because along with your belief, you got to have stability. And what happened with them as soon as they thought things didn't happen the way they thought? As soon as they saw him fall, what they do? I know you saw him. I mean, when did you meet you? Hold on to that. I mean, he did. These folks will kill me too. And the first thing people do, guess what? They, they lack stability. So it was important for him to come back to show. And, and guess what he came back to reiterate and, and to confirm them with? The, the, the ball. He ain't coming no spirit. He told him, you don't see no spirit. I'm giving you right back to the Debar. Yes, I'm going to show you evidence that the only way I could get it in my kaboo, I had to suffer. Now, I got to look at this. They ain't don't go my way sometimes. I ain't got what I want to have. So things I felt I should have happened hadn't happened. Man, I'm suffering. You know what? I ain't going to be saved. Salvation, that's what we do. Yes. Yes. See, the man said, 
art when I expected to suffer in order to get my kaboom. See, the way they had our purpose, see, the whole purpose of Christianity too, it basically designed to push you away from it. Christianity saved prosper. If you say, brother, I know some Christian, listen, man, if you ain't had that, I don't believe you say. That's how they get them going. And these folks will lie and fake the whole life. Because they're attached. And even your book told you, supposing that gain is all of him. From such, these folks go to prosper churches. They don't even put a church in. We would come along, man, you were Mount Zion, Mount Moriah, Israel, 2 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians. They were churches. Man, no name. You was a church. You were serious. Folk up. Potter House. You're like, Pot House? Man, ain't going to weed, though. And all that new beginning. Man, we had no name, but you had strong names. Bible name church. You know, right? The Rock Mount Zion. And I knew Jerusalem. Man, you put some serious names up there, you won't be saved. Man, come up church without walls. Like, man, there ain't no name. Man, they just put up there. You need to put up under construction. You ain't got no walls. That bad. That bad. Y'all done messed up all my young folk. But just, <laughs> he's trying to get, Calvin trying to get them some points. But you see what I'm saying? They were at least named towards something so they could look up what they called themselves and knew they had a part. You see what I'm saying? Today, you watch these folk, they condition you and now they got you all even for, these folk got that have nothing to do with them. It don't correspond with him and nothing else. These folk, they said, we live so that way. Everybody can feel welcome. It ain't supposed to make everybody feel welcome. It's supposed to make a sinner want to repent. That's the problem. It is. Everybody welcome. The homemonger, the liar, the drunk, the drug dealer, you know, the homosexual. Everybody welcome. You, I don't know why people get that. It's supposed to make you welcome, be comfortable. That was a behavior you had to manifest. Give me that bar of sheet 35 and one right quick. Your book right. Y'all young folks, y'all take that thing like I'm taking now and watch what he do for you. The man working for me. I'm saying working for me, I ain't hired him. I'm just saying it worked to do what the man said. Whole time, I ain't working out. Go back and look at your life. That's all it is. I have to be honest. Go back and look at how you done anything. Just like you told him, when they found that man had been blind from his, from his aim and birth, what they want to know? That's why they want to know who commit Qatar. This each or his or somebody or this each or his parents. You folk don't try to go back. Folk don't want to look and consider. And folk always think that's a bad thing. Make folk, man, when you see your car, they even see where they're running. That's a good thing. Give me something to turn away from when, they, when it's suffering. You hurt. It, and I'm telling you, as much as it hurt, it make you. Man, my car team made me, man. Man, I wanted to get as far as I could from it. Well, your day long, look like you ain't been long enough from it. Take time. You know what? It's good because you can wake up the next morning and be just as clean as you were before it and far away from it. You know how many times you'll be doing it? Why don't it take that time and time to get past it and get there where you can say, I've been standing. Yeah. It take time. It make you appreciate your walk. A lot of times folks don't realize stuff don't make you appreciate your walk till you go through something. Right. I appreciate my walk. I mean, I, I, boy, I've seen some stuff. I've seen some stuff. I lost some preachers. I've seen some stuff. But I still had to stand. I ain't had to close the door. I ain't had to take no break and go take me a, set, a sabbatical. Right. Where the preacher come up missing like that. I've been here ever since. Right. All the time I've been down from some surgery, some COVID, like that. But me just hanging out there, I don't have time for that stuff. Right. Yeah, do my job. That, thing, that man will make you if you wait on him. Yes, sir. That's the truth. A lot of folk don't realize it. You get that. Folk be like, they want the job. You come on, get it. And you get that pay, and you get that suffering, you get that little bit of sleep. And you get all that trouble, and get them folk calling, and you got to figure out other folk problems that they done did and messed up. You got to figure it out and put it together and keep it moving. And you still got to balance your own stuff. Come on, take it. That's how I make it look easy. I appreciate you, Mr. Yahuwah. 
I assure you, I can't do it without him. <laughs> no, man, I can't do it without that man. Let's see what he told him. Look at him. 35 and 1, by sheet they call Genesis. Yes, sir. Listen. And Elohim said unto your cold. What did he say? Come up to Bethal and dwell there and make there an altar unto Elohim that appeared unto thee when thou fleddest from the face of Asu, thy ark. So, then what you look at there, think about this. I want you to get up from where you at, right? And I want you to go to Bethal and I want you to make an altar. I want you to do it just like you did. When you go, now think about that, and Elohim said to Yaakov, arise, kum, go up to the place, Bethal, and dwell there. Stay there now, and make there an altar to the Elohim that appeared to thee when thou fleddest from the piney of Asu thy ark. That's the consolation right there, that's the pride. That's, that's what he sat down and consider. So what kind of, what kind of, position, condition, you think he was when he was fleeing? You know what I'm saying? So, worry. Do anybody know what this joke, anybody know what Asu said? He said what now? That man dropped down the guy. He said, kill him. I said, what did he say? Kill him. He said, kill him? No. He said, after the moot, he said, after I get through mourning over my father. Actually, his aim said it. His aunt came and told him. She told him to flee. She told him to go to his, go to her ark house. She said, "Go to." She said, Cause "After the days of mourning over his ark, over his ark, he." She said, "He gonna kill you." So you know that man got a guy here. You look at it, that man gonna kill me, and you don't know when that man gonna be over this thing. He had to go. He said, well, "I'll probably get up in him probably tomorrow. I got to stop probably doing the rest of it by the end of the week." Somebody told me I'm kidding you, boy. You got to go now and get some distance between. And so you know what, kind of, and I appeared to you when you was in that condition. When you were worried, concerned about your life, I appeared to you. And I want you to go back here to the Beth Ali. You know what that did? Had to cause him to go down. Because you finna go and react some things. I want you to go back, arise and go up to the place, Beth Ali, and dwell, stay there. That's the house of Elohim. First of all, I gotta know where it's at, don't I? And dwell there and make there an altar to the to Adahim that appeared to thee when thou fled it from the piney of Asu thy ark. And Jacob said to his Beth, and to all that were with him, remove the strange Adahim that are with you, with you from the midst of you, and purify yourself, and change your clothes, and let us come and go up to Bethal and let us there make an altar to Elohim who hearkened to me in the day of my calamity. Ooh. So you know how to go there. You know what to look for. You know how to seek him. See, sometimes you got to be told how to seek him. The book told us in the book of Yeshua Yahoo told you to seek you who? Why you may be found. So how I'm be looking. Take my time. Mm, probably try to go to the next week. I got some stuff I'm supposed to do tomorrow, and um, Shabbat come in, so I try to get that while they may be found. See, all these got you, it put you in a mindset. That man said, I was in my calamity. Let's see what calamity mean. And, and the reason why we looking at this, because I'm telling you what the problem is when y'all come here. You don't come, you ain't got the right attitude. That's all, a, like, the, the right a, attitude make everything different. See, when he going to the Beth of Elohim, he's telling, and I will show thee where the Beth of Elohim is. And there will be a raven that will fly and show you my house. So we don't have a problem with direction or where I'm at. We just try to make sure when you go there, you're in the right mindset. You got what I'm saying? I want you to build and do like when I appeared to you, when you fled from your piney up, then you start thinking. That was a bad time for me. And I sought him. And he heard me and he answered. Okay? Calamity, an event causing great and often saddened damage or let me ask you a question. Was he sad when he left? How many of y'all think he had? you and Jay had to leave? Your daddy dead. Your mom just told you to get out. How'd you what you happen? Sad. sad. Okay, let's try it again. An event causing great and often Sudden sadness. 
They just forgot to put a damage or distress a When I appeared to you, it was a disaster. You had, man, you had made a mess. Man, you made a mess when I appeared to you. You were a complete mess. That man said, man, listen. Man, that probably the worst day of my life. And you who appeared to me. Think about this. Had it gone any other way. See, sometimes it take that. He appeared to Yashar Hall until they was in great distress. See, this is what we don't look at sometimes. What position you need to be in to get results. Now, the people he was taking with him, because he considered, I'm making this altar like he told me, and I'm trying to get him to do what he did for me before. So I got to make sure I'm in a mindset of, man, I done made a mess. This is a complete mess. I done deceived my father. I done took from my brother. And my mother told me to flee for my life. All I got is you. See, when you got other stuff, you can tend to not talk like that. Because he ain't everything you got. You got some other stuff. You still got your mother, your father, your husband. You still got your kid. But when you ain't got nothing else, you tend to talk a little different. Your situation, your need is a little more dire. So you, you talk with him and you talk to him of a person who need urgent help. See, Dao cried and told him that, that, that don't hasten, hasten to get to him. Speedily come. What kind of person need him speedily? <laughs> Man, look at him. At any moment, I, this whole thing could be over. I need you to make haste to get to me. I need you to speedily come to me. And that's the mindset. We, we, we take the pride approach sometimes. It just... Sometimes you got to really come back and consider your situation where you come from. He said, and I appeared to you when you was in the worst condition you could have ever been. I appeared to you. As bad as it sounds, somebody trying to kill your daddy gone. But it's kind of like Uzziahu. I mean, yes, Yahoo. I mean, you ain't going to believe it. That's when I saw him when he died. What if his daddy was still living? What if his brother had his birthright? Would you have seen him? He said, that's when I appeared to you. It took all that to happen, all the stuff that happened to you. He said, I appeared to you. See, this is what happened. You don't really know what you got that something happened with him. I'm telling you, anybody can fit your relationship. Man, you ask about anybody on the street, they just about to tell you they got a relationship. Might not be your relationship, they got a relationship. These people ain't got no relationship to somehow. That define your relationship. How you go through and how you come out. That define your relationship. Y'all got it? And that's something. Now, what he received, he was trying to pass on to them. I want you to put away those idol, those other hymns, right? Then he told them, from among them, because you got some things in here too. Miss means in the middle. So you got some stuff. See, they're purifying of the in and out of This ain't new. See, you got to go up and you got to be right about it. See, you could be just like one of his, uh, a Shaw was. I mean, she hear her and lied about it. You know what I mean? People lie and they sitting on their all Yeah. And they'll make excuses to try to cover it up. See, that man knew. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta be clean. Let me go back and see what he told. So we got calamity, an event causing great and often sadness, sadness sudden damage. If the white man forgot it, we know we'll go there. Cause we said your daddy just died. How you feel? Anybody daddy done died? Y'all was jumping for joy? I was sad. Because it's sudden. And it's damaged. Okay? Or distress. Disaster. Let's go say. Back in my hand. This one's time, huh? Hold on, son. Remove the strange Elohims that are with you from the and purify and change your and let us come and go 
up to Bethal and let us there make an altar to that's not enough information for me to go with you no know I just be honest with you. On a person go with him and he just said there'll be somebody just lack information. That's not enough. Some people see y'all get spirit driven, you'll just go. And let us there make an altar to Allahim who in the yum of who was and preserve me throughout in the by which I and they gave to you cold cause they looking at we on the journey now see, see that don't make sense that he just said that people do it he can explain them why why are we going now I serve a whole different Elohim than what you serve why am I going to give up what I got for what you got? Because he appeared to me. And I made an altar to him before and he heard me and he was with me throughout this entire journey. Those people don't seen that man lie. Wow. I remember the first time I met you out at the well. We went back and you asked my daddy for my hand. He told you to work seven years, and you worked. And that night of the wedding, when you had gotten up there with my sister, and you had realized you had been gypped, and you had been played and made a fool of, and my daddy told you it was right to give you the older instead of the younger one. And you had to work seven more years to get me. And you worked seven years, and you said, man, you worked, them, you worked it just like it was a couple of days because of the harb you had. And then when my father gave you cattle, you got some, he gave you the worst of what he had. And you sat and you worked, and you worked just. And after a while I seen my father be depleted and I saw you be multiplied. Then it came down, they started talking against you and it was against you and you took all you had and we left with you. And I know you who have been with you. I'm willing to put down what I'm doing. I'm willing to change how I've been acting. I'm willing to give all this up that I got around me and I got in me so I can get him to hear me because I want him to be with me. See, we make it seem like people just stupid. These people weren't stupid. These people already had all the things. I'm not giving up mine for yours unless yours can do more than what mine's do. And people can see the evidence. That's what he let them know, the evidence. All he proclaimed to me what he already knew. He ain't proclaimed no new thing. He was with me. The same thing you who had told us, the same thing. He was with me throughout my entire journey. You know who else told us the same thing? Tell him what he said. Tell him why. I really wasn't going to go down, but he did say that. In the 23rd chapter of Tahalim, he said, Yet I walked through the valley of the shadow of death. I fit for thou that rod, they comfort me. He said, they comfort me. That's what he told him to do in Yeshayahu, the 40th chapter. Speak ye comforter. 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 She done received double for her kata. For her kata. Comforter. Let her know that her sin been forgiven. That's all we've been wanting to know. You know how many times we go and we struggle with dealing with has he forgave us for all we've done? Certain, certain kataim we commit just seem like it just stay with you. I don't care how old, how, how long you've been going. Certain things he'll bring back up you've forgotten about in your mind. And that's a good thing because it make you always consider. I got to make sure I get that covered. I got to make sure I get that covered. That was a concern before about cover. I need that answer. I'm going to need that answer. Y'all wrote it down? These are questions y'all have to answer. That fast. Don't worry about it. It's something you don't know. It's something they know. Something they've been taught. Okay.
So these are the things that we want to try to do. Let's see what they did, okay? And then look what they did. Who was with me and throughout in the, which is sometimes my halak, okay, the journey. Now, who could we reference this to? Do we gonna put this on paper? Yes, sir. How many points? I'll give y'all 10. I'll give y'all 10 points on that one. Hmm? That's tight. How many of y'all that's a tight one? This is what he said. Who was with and what did it preserve? Kelp. Kelp. Who? Throughout in the journey. By which I consolation. Consolation. All these questions are coming up as we're going. Yes, I got a question again. Yes, somebody else he kept. By which they went. It's out there, isn't it? How many of y'all feel like that's a difficult question? See, that's not easy. They said, team one, all put their hand up, so I know it's some junk. They want more points. 10.5 on the challenge. The question before that, 10 points, 5 on the challenge. Okay. So, but, but let me say this. You're trying to convince some people to give up what they've been doing. This was a lifestyle. This wasn't something they jumped into after he met them. This was a culture for them. Now you're saying, stop doing what I'm doing to do what you're doing. What's the rationale? A couple of things got to happen. I already know what I've been doing. It really ain't been working. But it's been a cut. Just like Chris down the truth. People tell the truth. Chris down don't work. They just start lying. It don't. Your whore see that there's some earnestness in people just like them because they served the other Elohims. So there had to be some earnestness to what they were doing even though it was wrong. Even the book declares, I think, in the third chapter of the book of Galatia, how is it when you knew not, might be four, when you not, I mean, now finish the rest of it. Mr. Quotation. That's what I thought. He said, how was it that when you knew not Elohim, you did service to them which are by nature no Elohim? Got it? But after that, you are known of Elohim. That man quoted a lot of stuff. You turn back to the weak and beggarly elements of the Arats. Basar of the Arats. Woo, still ain't got it. He doing good in part. That one, you feel the part of the book said, we know in part. That's it. That's it, we know in part. But y'all see, this is what we look at. A lot of us did better servitude when we were serving Jesus. More earnest, more, more faithful, as we call it. More willing to give, make sure we didn't jip it now. And like, we done got this knowledge. The knowledge done freed us out to be conditioned to do it will for him. Because we done fell on grounds of Jesus ain't real. God ain't real. It's Elohim. It's Yahushua. So now I don't have to be as serious with what I'm doing. Now I question everything to the fact of not doing what I'm supposed to do, obligated to do. That's, what, that's, that's where, see, this is what happened. While it'll induce some of us to come to get more sounder in our understanding, for others, it pushed them more to get lax and they screw up. Or they get lax to relax to where they don't feel like they have to do that much because after all, we don't know what's right. We're not going to tell that lie. We know what's right. Living right is right. Living wrong is wrong. Y'all got it? That's some thing the folk can just say what they want to. There ain't, ain't no condemnation on no man with no one wife. You got opinion. You ain't got a religion to put that on. Anybody condemn that. Anybody got no, ain't no condemnation against uh, somebody not committing something new, whoredom. It's just not. Morally or the book. Not one religion they got. So we know what's right. 
It's just a matter of what people want to do. And sometimes people use this as a cloak. We don't want to be guilty of that. Okay? This man convinced some people to put down their religion, put down their worship, to change everything about them. So they had to purify. That means you had to get rid of everything that was an attachment to it. You know what we do? Got yeah, just a little bit of Jesus. Up. Just a little. Just in case anything happened the last moment, you can run back. Got to cut all ties. You know who couldn't run back? Your Jacob couldn't go back. Uh, Abraham couldn't go back. They couldn't go back. That's how we got to be. Somebody was secret. Of course, he did come across and meet his rock. But after that, he had to keep moving. That's how we got to be. We on a, we on a mahalak. We on a journey. And on that journey, you got to make sure you get this thing right. It been too much horse playing and messing around. And people don't realize, man, you got to get your stability first. You might right play yourself out of this thing. And that's something I ain't come to do. I'm trying to stay in it until the man get back here. Because you got to do this until the end. You ain't gonna believe it. It ain't the end. And you gotta make sure you in. Y'all got? You better be I in before E N D. Y'all got it? That's just being honest. Everybody here, he said, don't judge nothing, not till you who will come. So you can be in one place today, you who are still coming. We gotta have it right. The end of the day, we got to get this right. Y'all got me? And I only wanted y'all to look at this because I want y'all to consider. Let me just show you this. And I'm going to get y'all finished up. That's what I'm going to get y'all to him. Who was with me and preserved me throughout the end of the journey by which I went. And they gave to your cold the strange. Why didn't they get to him when he told them, let's go up? They could have just said, here you go. So we going up. I don't want to take this. Because they were taking it with them. Yeah. And y'all bring junk with you too. He explained them the importance of them putting away. And look what they did. And they gave them to your gold. The strange Elohims, which were in their and the which were in their and your cold hid them under the turpentine tree, which was in Shikam, and them. That makes sense why Allahim talked about destroying all the other Allahim. He saw where the practice worked. They didn't pick them back up. See, but as the Tula dog keep coming, people get more lax. Everybody got their new style rearing and trying, and people got to learn their young people. Young people smart. Y'all a lot smarter than we were when we were y'all age. For on book senses and how you getting stuff. But y'all frail like leaves. Getting y'all attention span to pay attention and follow direction. Yeah, love. We took more whipping, so we took stuff a little more serious about paying attention. And when folk tell us something one time, y'all, folk had to talk to y'all too many times. Man, I tear the skin off y'all behind y'all mind. You go there and wait, go there and white, you'll pull a little skin with it. I'm trying to tell you, put it in a bag and sell it, piggly wiggly. Yeah, cause that just make you better. They just help you out. Cause I see how that, the parents, they, they, they don't do a good job. They, they let y'all talk to them. Some of them even call them by their first name. I slap all your teeth down your mouth. I put a new set in and slap them down your throat too. It's just certain stuff we did, you just taught them, you just don't do. You're a child. Child stand a child play. But it's their new era style, their new parent stuff. They, they can play with y'all like that. Y'all got that kind of like, These parents sound looking stupid now, they don't. They call Jesus, Jesus, because Jesus ain't nobody. <laughs> Man, you think y'all's a cop, what? Abraham! They <laughs> get, get punched in your chair. <laughs> ain't that right? I'm going to bust your heart. Man, I went ready to kill all them folks out of Simon Gamar. When them folks got took them, took all them folks stuff. Kid, what you think I'm going to do? You call them by their first name. It's a matter of respect. Teach y'all about respect, how y'all do stuff. But these parents, they, 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 they're a little younger than me. That's why y'all, y'all, they, they younger than me. So it's the, I came up, you know, Mid Buell and Henry Gray didn't play. 
they gonna hurt you. That stuff you just taught a kid, you want a kid to know how to do, you try to teach them some stuff like that. Especially y'all don't be in behavior. Y'all so soft now, man, they change the arm up. They get, they get them a straight call. You know the arm that I already put out, you know, they already, you ain't seen the they ever tell them. They saying start training y'all there early. They say you're bone brittle from playing video games. Y'all say, ah, right, who been preaching against? Have y'all not seen they told them? They're asking parents to start teaching their kid now train them. They said these kids so weak and their bones so brittle, they ain't gonna make it. From video game, end up playing TikTok. Y'all done seen the state, the states are going nothing up gonna sue them. Say it called mental problem. Come on, see preacher. Come on, Rob, come on. Who been told you? They know it. I've been crying that thing out. Them parents steadily be fighting me, Ryan. Steady fight, people. People don't run my house. <laughs> Your child get kidnapped. I'm going to tell the folks on the news. I'm saying, yeah, they was a damn dummy. I tried to tell them, I'm going to try my bit to get you prosecuted with everything I got. I'm going to go to court and work with the prosecutor and make sure you go to jail. They tell them, we caught the person that we need to lock the parent up. And the parent did what I told them, they never would have got kidnapped. I told our folks, get your kid off this junk. These kids need to do, y'all need to get them do 40 push up every day. Start doing something. Run outside, go run through some leaves. Man, we raise leaves and fall in them. Skull, fall them like a pillow. Child ain't been outside and eat a mud pie. Y'all can't get strong to eat a mud pie. Y'all gonna be straggling up. Mud pie make it strong. Tonka toy. Army men. Y'all ain't got no army men, do you? No Tonka. You got some army men? You used to have some. Y'all got army. Tonka toy. Y'all ain't on a dump truck. Y'all ain't had one. Where's that? You tore it up. Man, you put a ride that thing until the wheel come off for it. Man, we rolling them things. Man, you build a dirt pile for them. Man, that build frog houses with your foot. I ain't take y'all kid to the country. Make you shell some pee. Give you about an hour of daylight. But you got to do all your playing in one hour. After that, you got to go in and get in, that, get in that white, muddy water. Take that bath with that white soap. With that soap, drop out your hand. You ain't going to find that muddy water. Ain't going to be nothing but grit. You're behind sliding on grit. Man, you get that. How many, who, who know what I'm talking about? Man, that water be white. It don't be dirty. It be white. And that white lot soap be at the bottom. You got to find that soap in that water. Man, you take that bath, man, you could have just stayed out of that water. You just washed off your dirt and washed somebody else's own. But country folk felt like it made you clean. Boy, it was rough coming. But you know what? We ain't get the worms. We ain't get um, no vagus seal or nothing like that. You took that stuff and came out of you. Well, folk didn't need all that stuff. They come up here in the city and get all that stuff. That stuff the country you ain't need that stuff. Folk come up here now, all these fat, it's the stuff they give them, they put it in the draw. Y'all young folk, we trying to save so we have all that stuff in your draw. These folk come to tell you, the dye they put in these draw, them rims around the draw, making these kids soft. Don't get these kids no bloomers. These are some man draw. My white draw, no, they don't come in my draw. We don't wear, wear no panties. Well, that old my drawers are bra in now. Joke a t-shirt look like the girl shirt. Nigga got some little, what that little floral stuff down there? Nigga don't need no flowers on his drawers, his t-shirt. He need some man stuff. He need some ships, some planes. Some man stuff on your drawers. Yeah, all right, no done bloomers. Not no bitten acting like no gal. No girl, and the country call him a girl. Boy, you ain't no girl. No, I gotta get this stuff right. Getting the right stuff. Y'all start out them tidy whities. Everybody gotta come through tidy whities. Then on the inside, they gonna be roundy brownie. Everybody get a day. I see them smile. I know you get one. You miss. You don't have that thing come. You just lick it right there. Hit it right there. Come out. But I mess around, I almost didn't make it. I was trying to get that strain loose. How many I had? Man, I tied them strain twice to keep up. I have a, I have my side piece on. Yeah, huh? Like I got that side piece on me. 
My man, I pulled that straight, that thing tied on the knot. Oh, that thing was pulling down, I felt that thing rolling down the cup. But I heard I got just in time. He was just finna lick the drop. I said, I called him. I said, no, sir, you won't lick the draw today. I ain't gonna lie. I had that boy to come down and just tap. Yeah, he just touch it. He didn't let you know he there. You better move faster. Oh, yeah, let me, oh, let me, I'm the only one now. Come on, all, all the purified people. Boy, like they had that bad thing, or jump down that boy, he'll lick your draw right quick, you don't hurry up. Yeah, you hear them? You gotta hurry up. How long? That thing like it rolling, it put like, oh, you gotta hurry up. Ah, stand like they trying to get that thing, oh, we're trying to hurry up. You gotta move right to the wrong move. Don't even tire. It be like Yahusha down, grab Yahusha. It's all, it finished. It be, it's old. That, that thing grab you, man. You be like, you tell them, man, all of them just forsake you. Everybody smell it. They be like, they walk off from you. Don't do I'm telling you, if you don't move right, you tie them back, you better tie around. Keep your knife in your pocket. It's the real thing here. Now, I, all y'all, all these folks ain't had the accident say, I'm going to punch in your stomach. Where y'all at? How many of them had, you know, something out of hell? Something out of hell. But I tell you what, though, it wasn't on purpose. It wasn't sitting there for it to happen. It just happened. Y'all know stuff of hell. You got to run, and we, you got, but you run, you got to run right. You do that, and pick that, and do that here, you done. Soon as you do it right here, just stop, put it back down. Matter of this, it's still going to run. If got that lady that high, there's no way I could have held that thing. Not possible. Not possible. Man, that ball, that ankle been so saggy. No, don't do it. That's the truth, though. We've been there, ain't it? You know, folk can't tell the truth. It's hard on folk to tell the truth. But it's the truth by all your mistakes. And then let you say, whoo, boy, I sure appreciate it. But he let you just make it that toilet. But I was in my car one day, but I had to get hands on that phone. Child. Listen, man, I had the air conditioning on and the one to roll down. I was sweat like a stuck hall pit. I was linked on that one cheek. I hung that thing and that turned. Listen, I couldn't sit flat. I, listen, I was rolling. I was, man, me and that truck, I was coming over here. Yo, we were rolling. I had to slow that down. I made that right. I had to hit it down real right and ease it. But I was rolling to get that high. I was rolling. But I got that turned up. I said, I don't want to lift that top of me and see what the bottom of that seat look like. Man, listen, man, police been coming. He was going to meet me at the toilet. I said, I'm willing to go to jail, but I got to take care of this him. Then you can stand around the other side of the door. I'm finna let this thing loose. I had to get that bad. Man, I was rough. Me and that truck were rough. But I knew how to make them turn. I knew. He let me know. He said, you turn that. If you, it's a certain way you got to turn you finna do. The wrong turn, that thing going to come. That turn is there. Oh, it started coming down. You got to turn and set the way that thing. You got to make that turn just lean like that, just hold. Just make him hold. You got to just hold him like that real easy till you get to where you can let him go. Who in here know what I'm talking about? I'm trying to take, but y'all ain't been, I'm, listen, air condition, blasting, and I had to wander down. It wasn't no air coming. I had that one, I said, just in case it busts out of here. I said, I don't need these wonders up. I said, these draws gone, no, I'm just getting rid of them. I kept saying, just let me make it, just let me make it. I, make it, I said, just let me make it, just let me make it. All the way to that house, boy. Boy, you get in the house, you had to get out of that truck. You can't get out fast. You ought to go to that truck and say, boom, that would have been it. All that thing in the pop loose. I have lost everything I had. It's serious. But you better make it that tall like that. You said, whew. Kind of like your salvation, boy. You don't hear You just trying to make it. That's how I look at it. I said, boy, like you said, just trying to make it. Won't he keep you? Yes, sir. I'm trying to tell you, but let you know. That's a natural thing. Now, I know. I said, boy, he let me make it that tall. I said, you keep me until he get back. Well, and, and that, just like that, sometimes it get tight now. I ain't going to say that. It ain't a little lick. Just, just like, just but you don't let it do. Doo. If it go and move all the way up to the front, yeah, you don't went too far. You just cut that out, roll the wind, and pull over. You done messed up. You messing yourself. I don't know how baby do it, but enjoy it while you can. You're a certain age, but you can't sit with them pies on your draw like that. Y'all fella, make sure y'all ain't doing it. All right, that too. Get ready to go.